This is Kilkenny.com. We are in the Spring Hill Court Hotel. I'm in conversation with Kilkenny City West candidate Conor McLean of the Anti Austerity Alliance. Conor, thanks for coming in. And why are you a candidate for this election? Well, Stephen, I'm running because the campaign that I represented uh, up until now, the campaign against the home and water taxes, decided to, uh, if you like, put forward a, uh, a platform of 40 candidates around the country under the banner of the Anti Austerity Alliance. And the reason being that it's no longer enough just to campaign or to, uh, to organise uh, boycotts, but we have to take the opportunity to have our voices heard in the councils ar uh, around the country um, to get a mandate to drive a campaign now against the latest austerity measure, which is the water tax. And Connor, I suppose when I hear anti-austerity alliance, uh, I appreciate what you're saying, but what does that actually stand, what do you actually stand for positively? I know it's anti-austerity, but positively, what do you see going forward as mm. your party, your movement? Well, uh, positively, stopping austerity is actually a very uh, strong uh, positive. It's unnecessary. But uh, the question, I suppose, that we get uh, asked as well is where will the money come from? The fact is, there's an awful lot of wealth in this country that is being ignored. We've heard of Apple paying only uh, less than 1% in taxes on their, their uh, corporate profits. Um, we know that there are uh, hundreds of... Um, the, uh, of the top 300 uh, richest people in Ireland, that they have increased their wealth over the last four years whilst ordinary people have been hammered with all sorts of cutbacks, the, the universal social charge, uh, medical card reviews, etc. We're being hammered and we've got to stop that and we've got to turn our attention to the rich in society and why they aren't coughing up their fair share. But these very corporations, you talk about Apple and, uh, for example, Google and Microsoft, offer and give Ireland Inc. Uh, some very important jobs in a high profile in the international market. Uh, so, you know, you mentioned those corporations not paying their fair share of tax. But it has been proven across uh, Europe and even in America that they actually pay 12% 12, 12 corporation tax. And uh, where, where do you stand on that? You know? <laughs> it hasn't, actually. But... Uh, they're, they're paying, uh, the, the multinationals are paying in the region of 2% in my view, but overall uh, corporation tax in Ireland I think is effective rate is, is uh, below 6%. Now, I would like to see it going up to at least 12.5% that is supposed to be paid. But we also know that uh, companies such as Dell have actually moved jobs out of the country into lower wage uh, economies. We don't want to race to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But I see on your posters, you know, tax, you, you know, the rich are getting away, not paying the taxes. And mm. I'm left there wondering, and I presume some of the uh, electorate in the Kilkenny City West are also wondering, are the rich, the people, who are the rich? Are they in Kilkenny City West? Or are they, you know, who are those people that you identify We're talking as about rich? the super wealthy. Yes. Um, but that's a small minority, really, in Ireland. Uh, well, there's uh, quite a large number of, uh, you know, a number of uh, billionaires, uh, hundreds of millions, uh, you know, there's uh, the corporations as well. Uh, Oxfam published a report that there's something like 700 billion uh, been uh, saved by the corporations uh, are stored, uh, you know, in, in Ireland. So the wealth is actually there. Um, as I mentioned, the 300 richest, you know, have assets of 71 billion now, uh, getting richer all the time during a recession. They're so not how, being do you, tackled at how do you propose to tackle them then? Say, yeah. you know, for instance, mm. if you are elected as yeah. a as a you know as an actual councillor, how will you actually go? About yeah, that, that's a good question because obviously, like, um, I would probably be in a minority of one initially at least um, on the, the local council, and I'm not going to have the. Uh, I'm not whether I had a majority or not. I wouldn't be able to determine the taxes for the uh, the corporations. However, the way I see the the role of uh, an anti anti austerity uh, alliance councillor, if you like, is not what they can do on the council itself. Uh, the crucial thing is actually organising a campaign to stop the march of austerity, to get out there and mobilise people to use the mandate and the platform that a councillor has to organise a boycott against the, uh, the, the water charges. What, who's going to pay the water charges? Who's going to pay that tax? Uh, who's going to pay for that facility going forward if it's not actually taxed for the user at the end of the day? Who's going to pay for that? Well, you have to remember that we have actually been paying. Uh, water has been paid for out of the general uh, taxation fund and also from business uh, water rates and agricultural water rates, of course. But um, yeah, really the reason why there's a lack of money is because we're shuffling uh, 9 billion this year out to pay off uh, interest on, on debts that we didn't in, uh, incur. Uh, you could say, in fact, uh, that we're subsidising large corporations enormously by not taxing them properly, by the, by the fact that we've been allowing them to get away with not uh, paying their fair share. 
And Connor, I suppose uh, when I see you and think of you, I think of your late wife, Art Merciner, Susie Long. Um, was it all uh, was associated with the late Susie propelled you into public life or into running as a candidate? You ran in the 2011 election and did very well with over 1,230 uh, first preferences. Mm -hmm. um, where, where do you see things moving forward for uh, that cause? Well, uh, in the general election, I made health uh, and health services uh, uh, a major issue I feel and I think we, you know we've we've come quite a, a bit of the way in the terms of having won a, um, a daycare unit or a day unit in um, St Luke's Hospital which, which facilitates the, uh, the diagnostics uh, procedures endoscopies colonoscopies uh, and so on that's currently being built um, we're also very hopeful that as part of the, the, the Susie Long Hospice Fund we would have an announcement uh, to make I can't make it now but that we would have an announcement within weeks of progress in relation to um, hospice beds and uh, a hospice facility, if you like, within uh, St Luke's as well. On your posters, you actually have, you know, let's get rid of this sellout party. So, how, yeah. how could you see yourself working with these sellout parties in an actual council in the future? Well, as I say, uh, I don't see myself working with them. I, I am pledged actually not to do any deals with any of the austerity parties in terms of accepting any cutbacks. But the real pressure can be brought on these councillors from the outside. We can turn them against their own austerity measures, if you like, by applying the pressure from uh, the, the people who are, uh, who are opposing us. We've had extremely good response on the doorstep when we get to explain our position to people. And Connor, in a council se setting, besides being against water charges, what else do you see yourself uh, standing for? In particular, in relation to the, uh, the, the, the central access scheme now at the moment, uh, it would be our, our interpretation that that is predom predominantly to service the, uh, the Mart site and that it certainly would be better to uh, complete the, the ring road and put in the investment. I think the question of cost is always at the back of all of these things and if you remember that uh, funds are being withdrawn from councils from uh, central funding so that should really be replaced and we have pointed out that there are a number of ways in which uh, that, can be, uh, that funding can be brought back. Um, not to mention too many, but like the, the financial transactions tax, a tax on uh, bringing corporation tax up to the 12.5% that it's supposed to be, uh, a tax on the top 10% uh, 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 of income earners and so on. Those are measures by which we can bring up the council funding uh, to ones uh, where we can actually, to a level where we can actually provide decent services to people to build the houses, for example, that have not been built in the last years and have brought about this crisis in, uh, in housing at the, uh, the current uh, period where we have people one, uh, worrying that they can't pay the rent because of the rent increases and so on. And uh, Connor, you know, the constituency you hope to represent stretches all the way from Calamary to the Rock Bar to the heart of Kilkenny City. Uh, how have you been received uh, in rural part of the constituency? It's a big stretch, as you say. It's a big uh, uh, electoral area, but the, the feedback in Callan has been just the same as in the city west in, in, in Kilkenny as well. People are uh, outraged at the, uh, the idea that water charges are going to be brought in after so many cuts have been made to the uh, people's income. And I point out, and others already know, that if this goes through, there will be compulsory health insurance being brought in as well. And Connor, I suppose my final question is, if elected, mm. you know, after five years, uh, how will we, Connor know he has been successful as a councillor? How will we know what we judge you by, what we have achieved? Well, again, it's not down to me as such. It's the people who get involved. And part of what I'm about is actually getting ordinary people to become politically active, to reclaim politics for themselves and not leave it up to the usual suspects or representatives. And I would regard myself as successful if I have been able to uh, facilitate people getting active and having their, vo their voice heard, particularly the anger that they feel about being hammered so, so much. But if we are able to stop the, 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 the water tax through a boycott, obviously not just in Kilkenny, but in the rest of the country, and we have candidates um, standing in Dublin, Cork, Limerick, Galway, uh, and so on, you know, around the country, it's those campaigns coming together, packing quite a punch, I would say, uh, on what is a weak government, um, I think we have a very uh, good chance of success. OK, Conor, thank you for coming in, and the very best of luck. Thanks Stephen. Um, I just urge everyone to give me a number one. Uh, we want to get as many votes as we can, get me elected, get a good campaign going. We'll stop these water charges in their tracks.